today I'm gonna to be telling you all about a medical conspiracy that I actually believe in. Now you know me, I'm a positive, uplifting, bright side kind of guy. But in this case, truly, I'm worried. And I think you should be too. This is a very, very serious story. Not even two weeks ago, I was asked to talk about this on national news. What I told them then is what I'm gonna tell you now. I am scared. I'm scared that this can get out of hand. I'm scared that disease can spread. Humans can be altered forever and the future generations will never look the way that they currently do. You can be affected. I can be affected. Kim and Kanye can be affected. Certain people have really big foreheads, you know. The subject that I'm talking about is gene edited babies. Wow. <laughs> A Chinese researcher came out saying he delivered a set of twin girls that have been both genetically edited using a process known as CRISPR. It's important to know that CRISPR-Cas9 is a type of gene editing that is not fully well understood and the scientific community came to an agreement that if there was gonna be any human trials on this, they have to be fully disclosed and they have to be taken into consideration only in matters of life and death. If a patient has a deadly illness that they're sure to die from, it's worth pursuing this experimental treatment in some countries where it's legal. The genes this researcher edited were ones that would potentially make these baby girls resistant to the HIV virus. Now, in this case, this is not our life or death situation because we actively have treatments for HIV and it's no longer the deadly disease that it once was. Through a series of well-coordinated posts through the Associated Press and YouTube, the researcher released the information that he was successful in doing this gene editing on human embryos and was able to deliver these two baby girls. Now, the entire medical community and scientific community alike has been up in arms and rightfully so. You have to understand how shady this entire situation is. There's this one scientist conducting contracts controversial research, his hospital and university are not aware that he's doing this. He's saying there's a third baby underway, won't release the names of his subjects slash parents of these babies. He's altering the future generations of this world with no oversight and truly no regard for humanity. Side note, no official scientific quality organization has come out and validated his work in this trial. So we don't even know if this guy is telling the truth. Why is the entire scientific community up in arms about this? He just did a trial, whatever, not a big deal. No, it's a big deal and there are true ethical repercussions that come with this sort of testing. First of all, he has no idea how this sort of CRISPR gene editing is gonna affect future generations. Will this gene mutate? Will it be stable? Will this child be able to live a full and healthy life? He does not have the answers to these questions because none of us have the answers to these questions. Second, think about the ethical problems when it comes from a disparity standpoint. Think about if we can cure all sorts of diseases and then the people who can't afford to get this type of treatment still have the diseases. Think about the inequality that creates. I've seen sci-fi movies like this in the past where these social disparities exist and the rich can cure any illness, change their genetics, essentially be superhuman, while the poor had to live with their illnesses and disabilities with no hope in sight. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna live in a world like that. And even thinking further, if we can change genomes in humans, we can change genomes in viruses, in bacteria. If God forbid a terrorist group gets access to some of this gene editing and manipulates a virus or a bacteria, they can kill millions very, very quickly. And the scariest part is we wouldn't even know who's responsible. How would you even track that? My conspiracy theory in this, I think countries are racing to do this and I think that the future is gonna be scary because there are gonna be no limits to this. Do we cure cancer? Probably. Do we eliminate disease? Probably. But then what happens with overpopulation? What happens when soldiers are, are genetically changed to be superior than regular humans? A lot of people say that the problem of my generation is gonna be economics, immigration, politics. While all those are serious issues, as a scientist and as a doctor, I worry about this. If we don't get control of gene editing, it's gonna be our next nuclear war, mark my words.
All right, back to good old optimistic Dr. Mike. While I do believe that that conspiracy is possible, what I think is more likely, and I actually hope this is gonna happen, is that governments are gonna come to their senses and understand that when they're doing genome research, even if it's in a bioterrorism standpoint or try to do it to protect themselves, if you go overboard, you're threatening all of humanity, including themselves. So my hope is that they'll put controls in place, not go overboard with this type of research, and really just be smart about it. I know that was a little heavier than most of my videos, so if you want something lighthearted, check out my second review of Scrubs. I know some of you missed it, so click here and stay happy and healthy.